Hey guys, it's Bryce here with another Fusion 360 quick tip. This week we'll learn how to control the visibility of objects. Oftentimes, I'll leave the preview of my joints on to enable quick editing. Sometimes I have assemblies with sub-assemblies and reference components inside my browser. Each of these have their own joints folder, which can be quite time consuming locating and hitting the light bulb next to the correct joint. Another option is to select the preview out of the graphics area and right clicking and selecting show hide. These methods might work if I'm hiding one or two objects, but I have some other tricks if I'm hiding a lot of objects. So if I want to turn the preview off of all of my joints, I can go to the bottom of Fusion 360 to the display settings. Under Object Visibility, I can control the visibility of origin and user work planes, axes, and points. In addition, we can control the visibility of sketches, joints, and joint origins. In this case, we can turn off the joints to turn off all the previews in the graphics area. Sometimes I want to hide several joint previews and just have key joints visible for quick editing. For this scenario, we can use Selection Filters. I will start by turning off the selection filters and enabling the joint selection filter. With this selection filter enabled, we can use different selection tools, whether that be box selection or holding command key for Mac or control key for Windows to enable multiple selection without selecting the wrong object. Once I have everything selected, we can right click and hide the joint previews. In contrast to the first workflow where we use the object visibility options, this workflow will turn off the light bulb for the joint in the browser. Now this workflow isn't limited to just joint previews. Make sure to check out the other objects that can be controlled in the display settings. In addition, use different selection filters to enable quicker selection. Well, that's the quick tip for today. Until next time.